Good afternoon, everybody. Today is a fun day. It is a fun day. Because we've got a date planned. Yeah. Ooh, so we're going to go have dinner. Mm -hmm. And then one of our favorite museums in town, the Orlando Science Center, is having something that they're called Science After Sundown. Yeah. It's basically oh. just the Science Center being open late. Sorry, I hit Homer. Oh, no. <laughs> it's open till 11, yeah. which is pretty exciting. So, and if you're a, a pass member, which we have been for many years, it's free. So it's included with your pass, which is cool. If you're not a pass member, it's 21 bucks for adults. And I think it's like 15 for kids yeah. and seniors. So it's, it's pretty fairly priced. Speaking of 21, also, I think they're going to have adult beverages available for purchase. So that'll be pretty fun. And they also are doing something where they're showing classic science fiction movies every weekend so this is only on fridays and saturdays mm -hmm. i sorry i don't want to interrupt you but i have to tell you i was looking at the movie list our movie is war of the worlds i yeah, think 1953 war of the worlds later on in the event because i think this goes to like august 11th or like mid-august one of the movies is men in black from like 1995 or 1996 yeah. and then one of the other movies is galaxy quest from 1999 that's on their retro movie list yeah it makes me feel really old yeah <laughs> tim allen galaxy quest <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to dinner. Yeah, I'm excited. We're going to a place that is near the Science Center that if you guys go to the Science Center You should definitely check it out. It's so delicious Yes, we may or may not have forgotten that it is Saturday night and most restaurants in Orlando are hopping on Saturday nights So it was hard to find parking. There's no parking. We had to park really really far away Yeah, but hopefully we don't have to wait too long in the restaurant. I have a feeling that we will I think we might yeah. we're also passing by the BART which is a bar yeah arcade art gallery so if you're ever looking for one of those there it is <laughs> it's really fun it is here we are hawkers asian street fair okay we're here it's very busy we had to sit at the bar because it was so busy so we got our roadie which we love it's a brown curry and then we also got some what is this fried pork belly fried pork belly yeah Sioux yolk yum it's, awesome. it's very thick yeah. With three C's. <laughs> Here's mine. I got the uh, yaki udon. Delicious, delicious noodles. I got the pad thai with only shrimp. Yeah. Spicy. It's gonna be so good. I love this. Every time I eat it though, it kind of makes me sick. Uh oh. But I love it so much, I eat it anyway. Walking down the street with my clear umbrella. Yours is so much cooler than mine. Well, I feel like we bought this for me, but I never get to use it. Isn't well, that funny? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we're on our way to the Science Center now. What'd you think of Hawkers? It was delicious. My food wasn't as flavorful as it has been in the past. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, trekking the dangerous streets of Orlando. Yeah. That's the name of this vlog. <laughs> what? I walked by this escape room thinking it was an escape room. It's not. In case anybody's wondering what that siren is right now, that's a that's a lightning alarm. Oh, is it? Yeah. There must be a pool nearby. Great escape. Worst escape room ever. Well, they're just a framing job. Here we are. We're at the science center. This is cool. I like how exciting it is as soon as you walk in. Very, like, hustly and bustly. Yeah, and colorful. So here we are at the Orlando Science Center. I'm excited because they have a traveling exhibit here that's called Hall of Heroes. It's all about the science of superheroes oh that's cool and it's not here all the time no no this is only a limited engagement ah. this is in the hall that it's always changing the last time we were here i think it was uh lights yeah oh yeah doing? yeah it was it was yeah. yeah let's go check it out let's do it Ooh, i can't wait to discover my superpowers i didn't know that i had any Ooh. but i'm gonna discover them oh look oh there he is the bruce how you doing, old Bruce? You know what I never oh. understood about the Hulk? What? When his when he grows big and he breaks all of his clothes, his pants never like they grow with him. Oh, they're like super stretchy pants. But they're done. His pants are the real superhero. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like the start of the exhibit, and this is the 1930s. The golden age of comic books begins, like Buck Rogers and the Dick Tracy fingerprint set. I like this little little ray gun over here. That thing's pretty awesome. Almost looks homemade. Ask the vigilantes. The Green Hornet soon became one of radio's best-known crime fighters. The series follows the I like these Spencer's All Wheat up here and Mother's Oats with aluminum. 
Oh, good. Oh, and they have some signs here that kind of put it into perspective, like what was happening in the world when the comic books were coming of age. So what was the very first comic book like ever? I, don't, I think they were talking about that here, like probably Green Hornet and Dick Tracy. Well, that's a new kind of hero. So are they, were they the first? Action Comics number one, the very first Superman. Is this real? Right? I think it's just like a copy of it, right? Look, and there's there's Cap. Oh yeah. I got me. I love this. Oh yeah. Oh, it just says the golden age of comics. Maybe this isn't the first comic book. The first modern comic book was Famous Bunnies, and it was released in 1933 in the U.S. And it was just a reprinting of comics from the newspaper. But not, those are like funny comics, not... That was the first not like, modern comic book. So what's the first, who was the first superhero? Who was the very first superhero? It would have been Mandrake the Magician, who debuted in 1934, four years before Superman. He was oh. probably the first popular superhero. His superpower was his ability to make people believe anything by simply gesturing hypnotically. Oh. These are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> Super balance challenge. Okay. Give it a try. Do you see that I'm, I'm literally? Yeah, you're I'm over back. top of the city. Two buildings, two oh. tall sky, skyscrapers. Yeah. Help me, The Rock. Where are you, Rock? Oh, because he's in skyscraper. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. Oh, oh geez. That's where it gets difficult is having to bend down over top of it. I did it. What if I did it like on my hands? Do it. I can't. <laughs> okay, all right, this is the jump chamber. You must have be this, at least be this tall. All right, here you go. Stand exactly on it. Now jump. I don't know. Are you supposed to? I, I, I don't know. Okay, so it reads out up here. The best jump of the day is nine foot nine? I thought you just wanted to get rid of my high score. Oh no, I didn't know. I couldn't tell where it was. I jumped eight foot six. Oh, you look like a superhero. Wow. That's fun. 1956, the silver age of comic books begins. There's a cat down there. Doesn't it look like all this um, uh, primetime diner? Oh yeah, it does. He's like boomerang wallpaper and everything. I love it. This is fun. Stand by for Mars. You know what would be a good name for a band of four people? What? The Lone Rangers. I'm, I'm Batman. Ooh, you can do a stop motion animation. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, that sounds really fun. How do we do it? Put some people in the frame. Who do we start with? All these? Start with Batman and Robin are here. Oh, okay, this is gonna be beautiful. We made an animation. That was it. <laughs> beautiful. It's my boy, Tony. There he is. This is pretty neat. From. I don't know. Like, is this just like a big action figure? Yeah. What? You're not doing anything like he's doing. Cyclops. Oh, yeah. There's Superman and his phone booth, and Jen is getting changed outside of the phone booth. No, I'm gonna come out of the phone booth with my paper. Yeah, you gotta go into the phone booth, put it on. She wants to save you, but she has to take a phone call first. Oh, is it ringing right now? Oh. Stop ringing. Oh no. Superman was haunted by the phone ringing. Oh, well there's half of a Batmobile in here. Look at that. Oh, this is so long. Yeah. Is this how long it was? Yeah. Holy cow. What kind of car is this? I don't know. The Batmobile? Oh. Those are his pursuit lights. What's afterburner? Well, I don't know. I'm thinking that it's mostly just sound effects. I think you're right. There's a Batmobile made out of Kiva blocks. Did somebody make it? I think that it's glued together. Somebody oh, wow. did make it, but uh, not today. Wow. I'm Batman. I am the darkness that flaps in the night. Oh, quacks. <laughs> there was like a, a Bat Rolls Royce. Oh, wow. What is this one? It's the Batboat. Oh, it's a boat? Yeah. There's the Batmobile right there. I love that. <laughs> Tim Burton's Batmobile. Oh, I do love that one, but I also love the motorcycle with the sidecar. Yeah. It looks cool. 
Oh wait, was this one Tim Burton's? Who's this, which one's which? You guys let me know. Oh, it tells me right here. Oh. Yeah, Batman Returns. Dang. Batman Forever. Oh. Forever. And I've been kissed by Rose from the grave. When I was in the fifth grade, we used to have this like kids club where you could go to like a club and it was only for people under the fifth grade. Oh. So it was like from third graders to fifth graders and it was put on by the um, police station and it was held in like an old warehouse, like a rave, like a 90s rave, but it wasn't. It was like a kids bop club and um, that was one of the first songs that I ever slow danced with a boy to. Oh. It was the Kiss by a Rose song. Wow. That came out when I was going to the club. I'm going to punch that kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you're good, yeah. So your feet can never touch the ground. No. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep six seconds. No, no, oh, you lost? Oh, dang it. Jen's fun to go to the science museum with because she goes running off going, oh, I wanna go do this one, undo this one. Agility, start by step on two sensors. Okay. Oh, you're doing it. It's happening. It's like DDR. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You gotta use both feet, not just one. Oh no. I never learned how to use two feet. Oh, you're doing good. You got a score of 215. Three, two, one. Oh, 565. Did you feel like, do you feel like dancing? <laughs> What? <laughs> you have to beat 565. I feel like I can't see the ones behind me. That's what makes it hard. <laughs> Three, oh, really? two, one. Oh, no. You're done. You beat me. Oh, I beat you. Our next spot is we're going to inspect and see if this is bigger on the inside. Let's see. Ooh. We're inside of a turtle. It sounds very tiny whiny in here. Oh, yeah. Do you feel like we're traveling Ooh. through time? <laughs> Where does it take you? Where does the TARDIS take you? Back in time, I think. I haven't watched the show. What, time, are, what time is it? What year is it? Oh, it's the same year that we went into it in. Oh, we're going into a wind testing area. Oh, oh no, it stopped right as soon as we got in. Please. Whoa, you look very blue. It's so windy in here. What? I can't hear you. I can't stand up because of the wind. I feel like the wind is actually down here. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's a little windy. That's my rapper name. A little windy? Yeah. I like it. Push it, but don't run. Okay, wait. Go. Run to the other one. And then back. That's the, you gotta go beat your goal. You gotta score 15. I, I believe that I won in my heart. Oh yeah, can you see through the vault door? Press the button to activate your x-ray vision. Whoa. Oh, look at all those jewels oh, in there. It's the infinity stones. Oh yeah. Isn't it? Look at it. I think so. Mm, now we know where they are. Yeah, they're in this, they're in right here. 1970 to 85, the Bronze Age. There she is, Linda Carter. In Star Trek, there's a Tribble. Right there. I love how the cat never ages. Oh yeah, it's an infinity cat. Yeah, I love how they like themed everything out so well. Yeah. And like, is that Stan Lee? I think it might be. Is it? I like that there's a beanbag chair here too. So we decided to head out of the Hall of Heroes and head into the rest of the Science Center and just kind of explore around a little bit. We don't have a lot of time here because of Bandit, but yeah. we have a little bit of time. But I feel like we've seen a lot of stuff in a short amount of time, which is cool. Which, uh, it, well, the thing that's intense is that's just one room. This is entirely new since the last time we were here. Oh, wow. So we came into their maker space, which is called the Hive. They have a theremin here. Yes. <laughs> oh, they have like a ton of 3D printers. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize those were all 3D printers. Yeah. Oh it's 3D printing something. Here's some of the stuff that people have made in here. It's a little maker space. 
that people can come in and make whatever they want to in here. It's so cool. Oh look, somebody made like a little, it's almost like a jaw harp, but it's like a, like a harp. Simply amazing. So this is called The Hive, a makerspace. And there's also a wood shop back here. Wow. So I think at some point you could come in here and do some woodworking. And they're teaching people how to embroider. So like I could embroider something here. Wow. Cool. Oh. And teaches us how. So I think the last thing that we'll be able to do is head back into the Fusion Steam Gallery, which is like is art one? science. Yeah, this is cool. It's like a moving art piece. That's really neat. Oh my gosh, do you remember when we made the hearts? Yeah. So when we showed you, um, as we were walking through that um, like tunnel to get into this building, there were all of these like crystal hearts on the ceiling. So that's actually a memorial to um, the, the victims of Pulse. And before they had the crystal hearts, we made origami hearts, which they had hey. from the ceiling. They looked like this. Yeah. And so, I don't know, I'll see if I can link that video where, where we made the hearts, but these are the upcycled pieces of paper. Yeah. So that you can see the, like, the folds of them. Like these oh, are- that's really neat. These were, were folded as the hearts. Yeah, and you can see what it used to look like over here. Wow. It's pretty neat. I didn't realize that it was the actual paper. Yeah. So we actually, some of these papers are the ones that we made, which is kind it's of true. cool. Yeah, you put your hand, no, up here. Like this? Yeah, oh look, you're doing it. And then move it up and down. And like side to side. Whoa. Oh, okay, move it forward and backwards maybe? Yeah, you see you're changing the amplitude and the frequency. Whoa. Whoa. The name of this installation is Relevance Sology. Relevance Ecology. I think what it does is it basically takes a trash and turns it into art. Well, this is like, they called it upcycling. Yeah. Is that trash? Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So like this is made out of newspapers or magazines. And you can kind of see little pieces of it down in here. I don't know how well this would hold up in the Florida rain. <laughs> it's a very nice dress. Yeah, and like here's a fish made out of an orange juice bottle. I like the name of this piece is Purdy Head. <laughs> this is intense looking. Wow. Oh, this one's made out of CDs. Oh my gosh. Wow. Here is a dress made of fashion magazines. This is cool. That's oh, pretty neat. This one. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's made of cards? Yeah. And a card tablecloth? Oh, this is from like a, 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 what are those called? Like a box spring. Like the, the piece of cloth that goes on a box spring. Then they painted it. Oh, I like that. <laughs> this is fun. It's all made of plastic and cardboard. Oh, did you see the octopus? Oh yeah. yeah. Do you see it's made out of plastic bags? I do. This is made of uh, knives, plastic knives. Oh. And bottles and bags. Pretty neat. Here's a whole whale's tail made out of parts of plastic bottles. Oh, these are the lids. Those are the lids, yeah. We, we just got a roof replaced and I thought those were roofing nails. Oh, yeah. Ooh. They have like some black lights up here pointed at these iridescent jellyfish. One of the things that we don't get to see today, but still one of my favorite parts about this, is that there are alligators that, oh, look, they're moving around. They're kind of big. Yeah, they're getting big, aren't they? Yeah. There's like fish and everything in there too. They're big, they're big fish. Are they catfish? Those are catfish. Ooh. I remember when I was a little kid and we used to live on a lake and I used to try to catch catfish with my bamboo fishing pole. Really? Never caught them. Oh. Never caught a single one, but I tried. I tried. I don't think there were any catfish in that lake. There were. Oh. There, there was some kind of fish with the whiskers because oh. our neighbor, we would use his dock and he was always like, don't touch them. <laughs> and I was like, with my little stick, like, okay. <laughs> so, Good times. Catfish. What else has the whiskers? No, those are catfish. Yeah, told you. <laughs> One of the other things that's included with admission to the Science Center is your admission to the Digital Adventure Theater where you could watch any one of these movies. But tonight, they're showing the 1953 classic, War of the Worlds. Well, if we had been here earlier, we could have watched Big Hero 6. Ding, ding, we gotta come back. I haven't seen that one yet. Me neither. There's another theater in here. This is a large format theater. 
and they do laser light shows here during this event. And we totally are not gonna be able to watch the laser light show. Oh no. We gotta come back. Let's do this again and do all of the things that we missed. Okay. The laser light show. Yeah. Right. So there you have it. That was our trip, quick trip, to the Orlando Science Center for Science After Sundown. And to check out after sundown yet. Well, it's, it's pretty dark out there. But also to check out the new traveling exhibit. The Hall of Heroes. Yeah, that was really cool. I didn't realize what, like, how it was going to be about superheroes, but I really, really liked it because it gave you like the history behind it. Yeah. But then also just was like fun stuff. Yeah. I like that. Then also, we got to check out the hive, which I want to come back and like build something. Now. Yeah, so we were talking to um, one of the employees in there, and she was saying that they're working on getting some like cool people to come in and do workshops. Yeah. So they had like um, sewing machines, 3D printers, they resin had, printers. Yeah, like I, I kind of. CNC, bandsaw, yeah. woodworking stuff. They had a laser. Yeah, so laser cutter. It's like, what, what kind of stuff, what kind of workshops are they going to offer? So I think we'll definitely be looking into that. Yeah. Yeah, it was exciting. I love this place. Yeah, me too. So, with that being said, we are off. We will see you guys tomorrow. And now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price. price.